And as a Nigerian woman, you struggle to stay alive in Nigeria. It is hard. So Bisola had to leave Nigeria to come and survive in Ghana, to run to Ghana because she needed to leave. I mean, I don't get it. Why will you leave giant of Africa? Desperation for wealth will make a Nigerian man do anything for the money and power. This TB Joshua incident is heartbreaking. Now, how come there is no Ghanaian among these young girls? hello there we are back again with another video thank you so much for clicking to watch if you're new here hi my name is lillian there's fire on the mountain and i must speak usually will i say these are not my type of videos but hey i'm a mother i'm a woman i'm a nigerian and this video affects me in so many angles and if i don't speak about it man what an hypocrite so there is a video trending the streets of youtube by bbc africa about the late Temitope joshua aka tb joshua he is being accused by his ex church members of sexual molestation and slavery so many things in one video difficult to watch but i had to do it because i needed to learn from them i think that women are not safe in nigeria and the nigerian woman is the most hated woman as a nigerian woman you struggle to stay alive in nigeria it is hard if you don't have a heart to watch this video it's okay to click out come back when i do the types that you like because this is a moment of truth in case you do not know who tb joshua is he is the founder of the popular synagogue church of all nations located in lagos nigeria tb joshua was a pastor to many of us we thought he was a pastor this news coming out is shocking and i want to talk because i have been making videos here for the past few weeks i have been talking about nigerian men and women because some nigerians provoked me to do that video because a lot of us the truth is for me personally i know a lot even though i don't like to say these things because they are hard you get it so when a nigerian lady made a video trying to compare parenting in ghana versus in nigeria i did that video and this video is connecting back to that because see now we get it now do you see what i say that the nigerian woman is all about her husband not her child and that is why the country will continue to struggle and with the way the image of nigeria is going <laughs> there will come a time where you will be stoned and you will beg you will scream and beg for mercy to be allowed to live among people outside of nigeria because the international bodies are gradually having enough of us as nigerians now look at these people accusing tb joshua majority of them are not nigerians majority of them are south africans british and americans they are the one dominating in that video majority of the people that were affected in that tb joshua building collapse in lagos are south africans and now when they hate you do you understand why they don't know you to be from the east west and south or not they know you as a nigerian and this is why i always speak up even though some people think i'm not intelligent for admitting that some things that we are doing are wrong <laughs> i'm not intelligent and that is fine but let's take a look at some clips from the video especially the one of bisola trying to escape from nigeria or let's say she escaped from nigeria to ghana let's take a look at it and i'll be back B. Joshua continues sending different people to threaten my life. Three men, they beat me blue black in order to cover my identity. I ran from Lagos to Abuja, from Abuja to Cotonou, from Cotonou to Ghana. This is terrible. I wish I could play more, but you see, those videos are highly monetized. I don't want to get into trouble. I'm just going to play them maybe flash by flash and just bit by bit and break it down and give my opinion as a mother in nigeria as a woman as a human being so bisola had to leave nigeria to come and survive in ghana to run to ghana because she needed to leave i mean i don't get it why will you leave giant of africa why did bisola have to run to ghana to stay alive she tried to raise alarm in nigeria she she made videos 
calling out to be joshua nobody believed her because of course bisola is a woman and that makes her a prostitute as a woman in nigeria you are nothing but a prostitute except you find yourself you find yourself a man to attach yourself to so that he can defend you he can speak for you oh yeah i'm the one sleeping with her so don't beat her i'm the one a lot of women in nigeria are getting married for these reasons first for the bill you know someone to provide for you even though at the end of the day they end up providing for themselves <laughs> that reason is they do it for someone that will you know fight for them yeah maybe your main neighbor wants to beat you for nothing because you are a woman and that makes you a prostitute and you want to beat you you should have someone that will come out and say hey, i beg oh can i beat her more now me they sleep with her more yeah i think that's basically why we must find a man to attach to and we will abandon our responsibilities as mothers now look at tb joshua's daughter ajoke where is ajoke's mother because that girl went through so much abuse in the hands of her father tb joshua had to hide ajoke from his wife the society from the church from everything that he has you know built he did not want his reputation dented and ajoke has to be hidden and in that dark hole that ajoke was hidden she was lonely where is her mother Ajoke's mother is probably somewhere with her husband because that is what defines her as a woman, leaving the little girl to suffer. And now what did TB Joshua did to Ajoke at the end of the day? He discarded her back into the streets. And where is Ajoke going from the streets of Lagos? She is going to go back to the society and become the pain to the society. It's just like contaminating the water you are drinking from. That is the case of Ajoke. That is what happens when we don't take responsibility for our children. That is what happens when you choose an adult whose mother did not raise well. I cannot bend a crayfish that is already bended. If you bend it, it will crack, it will break. So you trying to satisfy an adult by abandoning your child, that child goes back into the society and becomes a problem. This is exactly what I'm seeing in this T.B. Joshua story. And the confirmation that women are hated in Nigeria. If women are not hated, why was Bisola not protected? Why was this young girl not protected? Another incident in the video that touched my heart so much is the British girl having to run back to her country using a motorbike. Just wrestled my way free. There happened to be an Okada that came past and I just hopped on and we just said, go to the airport, just get on that plane. AKA Okada. So she had to run to the airport on a bike. Why I'm not too broken for her is because she has a place she can run to. She can run back to. But what of Ajoke? Ajoke has nowhere to go back to. If Ajoke leaves her father, she's coming back to all of us to hunt us like that. Now, Bisola had to run to Ghana to stay alive. The British girl had to go back to her country. The American girl, they all had to leave. The South African ladies all had to flee back to South Africa. So this is happening because they have a place to go. So why can't you be free to live in your own country as a woman? I get very lonely sometimes and I wish to, to go home. But when I think of what can happen to me or my children, being girls, it scares me to death. Can we just love our women some more? Because now a lot of people are accusing her. Why didn't they speak earlier when he was still alive? Bisola spoke. Nobody listened. Look at now. A lot of people say, hey, Abe, stop accusing him. He healed my mother. He healed my father. He did this for me. He gave me money. You see the problem. Some people are not, they don't care about what these ladies had, had to go through. All they care is about them. Now, another lesson to be learned for me in that video is that when you do evil with someone, that person will do you evil back one day. This is just like the Yahoo boy's wife or girlfriend. You, are, you know what your boyfriend does for a living. You support it. You encourage it. But one day, you don't know that he will use you for money ritual. He will use you. Nami, they talk him. He will use you. That South African lady, I'm going to display her on the screen. She was the one that tb joshua used to send monies to the family of victims of the building collapse in lagos he had to use her to go around the streets of south africa villages towns 
and cities in South Africa to give money to the victim, trying to silence them. But at the end of the day, she ended up being used by TB Joshua, and she's crying in this video. She's a typical example of what I'm talking about. You know what your man or woman does for a living, but you are covering it because you are benefiting from it. One day it will bounce on you. It will hit you hard. Seriously, we can do more for our women. A country that hates her women, you can never find peace in such a country. You always struggle. So you have to get married so that someone will protect you. And the international reputation for Nigerians is at stake. I mean, do you think South Africans will be happy to see you in their land knowing that you are a Nigerian even though you are not the daughter or sons of TB Joshua? They know you as a Nigerian and a lot of people have revenge in their hearts. And you'll be wondering, why do they hate Nigerians so much? Why do they hate... Uh, some people say they are jealous of us because we are rich. You are rich. Majority of the populations are suffering, like people are hungry, desperate for survivor in a rich country. So is that riches? wealth that does not go around wealth that is not distributed equally to everyone is that wealth i keep on saying it every day until our women are valued and loved and genuinely respected with no expectations we are going to keep struggling now look at what these women had to go through oh my god oh my god look at what they had to go through i cannot play those videos here it will go against the youtube community guidelines can we do better? Can you teach your children? Can you allow the man to be for a minute? Dear mothers, raise your children with love and respect and love because they are the ones that will save the future. Desperation for wealth will make a Nigerian man do anything for the money and power. Why is TB Joshua today? He's no more. How did he die? We don't know. Nobody cares, but he's gone. And is it good? Now, why are these people coming out? I think they are coming out because they want to protect other people, other young girls. They want to protect other innocent people. They want to protect people because we still have randy men of God like that roaming the streets of Nigeria. A majority of them, we have heard despicable things about them. People have come out to speak against the atrocity they do, but nobody cares. The authorities are not even looking at them nobody cares nobody is protecting these women from these men they use them for all sort of exchange for power and all that we can't say we are not aware we know some of them as i'm speaking now intelligent minds will know that we have a lot of people roaming the streets in the name of men of god that are doing things that tb joshua was accused of by or is being accused of now because when he was alive, a lot of people came out to speak, but nobody took, nobody took them seriously. So I think that these people coming out to speak, if truly we must get justice for these people, is for us to look at the ones that are still alive. The government go into these men's homes, go into their privacy and check. Rescue the young girls that are being trapped there. You know these men of God I'm talking about. I personally stopped going to church because they like to brainwash somebody. I go to church, but that in my village because I feel like with Pastor Sunday, I'm safe. And I'm going there as an adult and not for him. But I feel like he will not want to start trying to brainwash me to do certain things because already he knows I know that. I already know some things and there are things I, wouldn't, I will not do in the name of being a christian you know there was a church i attended and in that church they usually give four envelopes and those four envelopes four envelopes they expect you to fill it if i name the name of what the envelopes represent you will know apart from tithe and offering these two belongs to something else and if i name these things you know the church so i won't name it so i was told that if i can't give those four envelopes complete i should stop i should know i'm not part of them they didn't tell me not to come to church they said i should know i'm not part of them and if i refuse to go through the brainwashing class aka foundation class i should know that i'm not part of them already i'm baptized and i told them they say yeah i have to do it again Again, I was already baptized in the river, but they wanted me to do it again, which is not biblical. I checked it and I checked my Bible. It didn't rhyme and I ran for my life. But your young underage child will not know that also will not know this. They will continue to go because they are vulnerable, innocent and naive. Save our young girls today. You have a job to do. We as Nigerians have to stand up and speak against this evil men of God. Call on the, our government to rescue these girls. It's unfair. TB Joshua incidents is heartbreaking. 
Now, how come there is no Ghanaian among these young girls? Because in Ghana, your mother, if your mother is not, is not alive to look after you, your auntie will not remove eye from you. Your auntie, your uncle, your uncle's wife, your this, this. Like you have this community of family members looking at you as a young child in Ghana. Why can't we do the same? So that we can learn some things and have peace in our land. I was told by a Nigerian lady when I was struggling back then, I think I was in my village. I was in my village. I was in my village and she contacted me that she's looking for people to take to Cyprus for prostitution. She was very honest with me. Oh, they'll give you $200. Each girl you get, you'll be given $200. $200, like, yeah, quite a lot of money. But is that good enough money for me to endanger somebody's life, to destroy the life, the life of an innocent child? I told her I don't know anybody and truly I don't. And I would never do that. Two days later, she now said to me, Are you safe? What of that your niece when they stay with you? My innocent Antonia. Antonia, that I'm paying 2,000 school fees per term. 2,000 Ghana City school fees per term. That is the one I should give to her to take for prostitution. <laughs> God, I beg you. I knew that she was never going to call my number again. And I told her things that I believe she would never forget. And she blocked me. So you do everything for the money, 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 money. Then we now forget what is important, which is the future, our children, our women. Seriously, I am done with this video and I hope that you, the international community, you get careful when you want to deal with Nigerian pastors. I beg you, be careful. They are good men of God in Nigeria, genuine ones, genuine ones. But I don't think a genuine man of God will isolate you from your families. Please be careful out there, I beg you. Be careful out there as you seek for powers. Be careful. Be careful because the Bible says that the heart of man is dangerously wicked. But I think the heart of a Nigerian man, yeah hate me down there both men and women but that is the truth and i am not intelligent i don't want to be intelligent i want to be on the side of the truth all the time i don't want to look intelligent to anybody i beg you because me looking intelligent to you adds nothing to my life but me speaking the truth will save somebody out there protect your girl's child today if you want peace in your land protect protect our girls today all right, I am done with this video. I will see you in another one. Bye.